The Average Camper's Adventures. Because we have visited Disney many times in the past, we set out to experience Disney in a very different way by spending as little as possible and seeing as much as possible by enjoying Disney's free transportation. Welcome back to the Everest Campers Adventures. It's Friday and as you can see there's plenty of Friday traffic on I-4 so for those of you that are familiar with with I-4 in Florida, this is what you get on a Friday afternoon. Ah, that's awesome. <laughs> right, you're not open. Thank you. Oh. I get so tearful at Disney. <laughs> oh, did someone break through the day? No, they just have it open. <laughs> oh. Doggies, 1818, 1819, 1821. Good luck. You don't need a big RV to enjoy Fort Wilderness. Look at this great example of a simple way to set up camp and enjoy the day. Fort Wilderness is a very large campground and we noticed that the most popular way to get around is traveling by golf cart. Just watch your step because it gets a little wild at times.
<laughs> Golf cart traffic jam. During our exploration of the campground, we stopped by one of the shops to see what they had to offer, and then off to the marina. <laughs> yeah, it fits. Ranger Shane. <laughs> We transferred from the boat to catch the monorail for a ride around Disney. Welcome to Disney. We are at the Contemporary Resort Hotel. We took the boat from Fort Wilderness over here so we can take the monorail. Por favor, manténgase alejado de las puertas. If you've just joined us, welcome aboard. For those of you standing, please hold on to the handrails throughout our journey and stay clear of the doors. For the comfort of others, no smoking, please. Okay. Our next stop will be the Transportation and Ticket Center, which includes Magic Kingdom car and bus parking. To the right is the Disney-created Seven Seas Lagoon. To the left is Bay Lake. Nestled on the shores of Bay Lake are Disney's Wilderness Lodge and Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground. As we traveled closer to the Magic Kingdom, we found a little magic of our own in the monorail. So this is the great part about enjoying some of the things around Disney, uh, outside of the park. We're all by ourselves. Disney can build a river over a road. All right, we're really we're lucky today because the temperatures are just beautiful today. I, I'd say it's probably not 71, 75 degrees out today. It's just beautiful out.
we stopped for a bit and decided to have a little fun with a round of golf. We are going to take a walk across the street, take the boat back to Hollywood Studios, take the bus back to the Grand Floridian, then we're going to eat, then we're going to take the monorail back around to the Magic Kingdom and a boat ride across back to Fort Wilderness. So we made it here to the Grand Floridian. It's quite beautiful, but the restaurants we wanted to eat at are for dinner only, and it's a little early. So now we're gonna take a bus to downtown Disney. If you don't want to spend a lot of money on the parks, Downtown Disney is a great option. What are you getting, folks? 16. Our own personal limo. Okay. <laughs> We're going to go prepare for our campfire and sing along with Chip and Dale. Chip and Dale. Not the Chip and Dales. Chip and Dale. <laughs> Chip has brown nose, <laughs> Dale has the red nose, That's right. and the bucky teeth. Yep. We're here at the campfire lighting ceremony and sing-along. As you can see it's not too crowded yet, but I'm sure more people will start filtering in. And they're also going to show Big Hero 6 at like 8.40.
She needed a pine cone. Yep. We're waiting patiently for Chip and Dale. Not so patient. The anticipation is building. Let's hear it for Chip! Join us next time on the Average Camper's Adventures.